put my hands on the ground because I will give him the chance to trap my arm like this. He can control one arm, he can also control both of my arms and I will get stuck, I'm not gonna be able to pass the guard. I like to open his gi so I can put both lapels together so I have a better grip and with my strongest hand, I'm gonna control both collars. These arms that are holding the collars, I always gonna keep this arm extended, putting pressure down. Try to hug me, can you see? I try to keep his back flat on the ground, don't let him come up, don't let him hug my neck. Even if he has this grip, trying to pull me down, watch, I keep this arm completely extended, trying to keep pulling me. I can even use the other hand to push him down, can you see? So it's all about like having a good posture when you're, when you're inside of someone's body. Okay, now I can control, make the grip with my other hand by controlling this leaf, and I'm gonna pull his arm to me, watch, turning my arm. This way I can tuck my elbows on the inside and prevent any submission attempt that he can do from the bottom, okay? Now, once I control the arm, same side that I have the arm, I'm gonna post my leg, and I keep putting pressure on his belly so I can stand up. As soon as I stand up, notice that my legs are too wide, so I need to step back with my leg and keep my feet a little closer together. Can you see? So I can defend myself more. Once I'm here on top, I don't need the collar anymore. I'm just gonna let it go this, but I still hold the arm. Elbow always tuck in and hips forward, so I have a good balance. Can you see? My other hand, I'm gonna control by the knee. I don't need to grab any pants. I just cup my hand on his knee. I shake, pushing his leg down, and I step back to put even more pressure on his leg to make him open. Can you see? As soon as I open the guard, notice that my elbow is still here on the inside. I don't relax my elbow and keep on the outside, always here, okay? Pressing his knee to the floor. I'm gonna let it go the sleeve and I'm gonna control with my arm underneath his leg. I wanna put his leg over my shoulder like this. Same side of the leg, I'm gonna drop my knee down and I use my arm as a bar, controlling really low by the hips. Right here, smashing him forward. Now this hand, I control the pants right away because I don't want, if I stay here, control my sleeve, it's gonna put my arm on the inside and you can lock the triangle. I don't wanna let this happen. So instead of just opening my hand, I'm gonna control his pants right here. Thank you. Extending my arm, putting pressure on his legs, driving my upper body on top of him, now I can make the grip. Thumb goes inside, and I control very deep on the collar. Now I can even get on my toes, so I can smash him even more. Pulling the collar, driving my weight. Now I'm just gonna walk to the side and show the pressure, so I can push his leg down. Can you see? As soon as I get here, both knees are touching his body. I can release the pants, get on the hook underneath his arm, control underneath the head, and I stay nice and tight, okay? So I can get three points for the guard pass.